Oh man, what a grind this game was. The Saints hold on 16 to 15. The Titans, did they have, what, just five field goals, right? For Tennessee to get to the 15? And some of the most ridiculous turnovers and not turnovers you're ever going to see. The, yeah. The, the opening kickoff, it just looked like a guy was tackled out of bounds. And then like five minutes later, it's like, wait, how did Tennessee get the ball? Because Amani Hooker, like ta on his way to tackling him out of bounds, just took the ball off him. So it was like a, a turnover that nobody even noticed until Mike Rabel was like, hang on, we actually uh, we came away with that. That's, uh, that's our ball. So amazing tackle and strip to start the game. And then later on, Tennessee got screwed, I think, completely out of a, a touchdown for a, what I think should have been a forced fumble and didn't get called. I have such um, – it was a 16-15 to 15 game, and I feel like the, the, the parts where we always start our analysis, the quarterback and the receivers, I feel so good about the Saints' playmakers and what they have. Yeah. And then I look at Tennessee, and I feel so bad about how Ryan Tannehill played. He was awful. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. It, but the Titans won up front. I mean, their defensive line did a great job up front against the Saints' offensive line. And, and it was like there was just all these extremes in the game, right? Early on, Michael Thomas looked like Michael Thomas, right? And Chris Olave is very, very good. As a second-year receiver, he's a star. And then you have the guy Rashid Shahid, who we've been talking up since we saw him running behind defenses last year. And it's just like, that dude is legit. Mm -hmm. He's getting behind defenses every single week and that's the formula to win like good luck covering chris Olave, rashid shaheed and michael thomas and Jawan johnson good luck but then you have Derek carr who's other than you know the one pass to shaheed in the red zone red zone was a disaster again much like it was with the raiders last year and he throws the ball right was it hooker on the interception right throws the ball right to the defense mm -hmm. as they're in titans territory it's like if Derek Carr can just not get out of his own way, he should put up huge numbers the way the Saints have deployed these playmakers in the emergence of a Rashid Shaheed, the return of Michael Thomas. But it only put up 16 points because of the turnovers and the weird plays and just being, and also the offensive line just getting beat up. And then on the other side, Tannehill, three interceptions, four turnover worthy plays, and just looked really bad. And it, we talk about the overreaction of week one. Is this. Is this a Russell Wilson type of, like, the skill sets disappearing a little bit for Tannehill? Or is it just the Saints are a tough defense and they tend to do this sometimes? Yeah, I mean, he was just making some terrible decisions as well. Like, there were just multiple, like, YOLO passes up towards DeAndre Hopkins where Nuke never had a shot at it because the, it wasn't just, like, oh, to hell with it, Nuke's down there somewhere. But it was that and bad throw location. It was just horrific, ridiculous throws to nowhere like Tannehill has always been a pretty decent decision maker you can question what else he brings to the table but like that part has actually been pretty good and I don't know if it's just because Nuke is there and he's so much better than the other options that he's like to hell with it let's try and give him a shot rather than find anything better but that was awful decision making from him um and some terrible passes and that like you can't you can't do that and have any kind of success. It's ridiculous. So I, I thought at the end of the day, a lot of the a lot of the preseason takes on both teams were true, but they were offset by these extremes. Like my my final takeaway on this game is the Titans are tough. They're going to be tough a tough out. But man, like Tannehill was so bad. I wonder if Mike Vrabel is actually thinking about I but mean, not going to Malik Willis or right. Will Levis. But like he's got to be thinking, man, to be. It'd be great if he didn't play that like right. that. That's but the, the Titans thing. are tough, right? They are physical up front, tough to run on, and it's a Mike Vrabel coach team that should be in every game, but Tannehill better not be turning the ball over. Right. And then the Saints playmakers, like they have the group of pass catchers that could be point, putting up 30 points a game as long as Derek Carr is making good decisions and in, in distributing the ball. Yeah, and, and Tennessee probably will be in every game. Um, I think this game probably shows you that. But, yeah, the Tannehill thing was ridiculous. Not only do you have the crazy YOLO interceptions, but his worst miss or his worst play might have been they had a trick play where they end up pitching it back to him, and he has a wide-open Chigakonkwo down the sideline and overthrew him by, like, five yards. 
like easy walk-in touchdown if he just hits an open target down the field and he missed it completely. That I mean, that's that's seven points that doesn't go on the board with a simple routine miss. In addition to the turnovers you're creating by ridiculous decisions, just one of the worst Hannahill games I can remember. Um, d- truly awful. But I, I, so going back to what I mentioned at the start. The Titans also got absolutely screwed out of what I think should have been a defensive touchdown for them. Um, And it was a 10-point swing because once they ended up ruling, no, actually none of that happened at all, the Saints, you know, scored a field goal out of that. They, Arden Key, blew past Trevor Penning, which was a fairly regular occurrence in this game. Yeah, Penning was not good. No, and Arden Key was good. Didn't quite have the sort of, they haven't turned him into an every-down player, They're sort of splitting that side of the line. Like Harold Landry is playing every down on one side. Arden Key is kind of rotating, but still had a decent workload. Absolutely wrecked him and had one of those plays where you round the the tackle and you get your hand on the quarterback's arm as he's cocked about to throw. Ball comes out. And then in the motion of throwing, he somehow like propels it forward, you know, as it's completely out of his hand. Um, The Titans scoop it up, run, run in and score. But it was one of those plays where they blew the whistle, like during the return, which I think is ridiculous anyway. Like in a world where they review automatically, not just every turnover, but every scoring play, let them run it through. It changes nothing if you just play it five more seconds, let them score the touchdown, and then check if it was legit or not. Whereas if you blow the whistle, the play is dead. So if it turns out you got it wrong and it was a fumble, You've just literally screwed them out of seven points by blowing that whistle. Let it play through. They didn't. And then they looked. So then they, they called it incomplete pass. Fine. Um, Vrabel uh, challenges it and is like, uh, that's quite clearly a fumble. And even though you screwed us out of the touchdown, I would like the ball. And it, they don't. They somehow conspire to say, actually, no, it was an incomplete pass. So I think that was a egregiously terrible call that should have put a touchdown on the board for Tennessee. Yeah, that's crazy uh, at the end of the day there. I mean, the the pass rush for the um, Titans was good. Saints offensive line struggled. Um, but yeah, the Saints, Saints remain intriguing because of the pieces in the right place. But you mentioned Trevor Penning struggled. Cesar Ruiz struggled up front from a pass protection standpoint. They got to figure that out. paid Cesar Ruiz. Oh man, he got, yeah. Not gonna say anything. <laughs> The grades have not been great for Cesar Ruiz. 